Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall decor haul and I'm just going to show you a few things that I've got so far so I can start decorating my house because I'm really excited. I've had some things for I think about two weeks now and I've been like itching to make this video. I'm definitely not done collecting different decor pieces, but I have a good amount right now and I definitely want to start putting them out because it is a officially it is officially September and I'm so excited even though fall doesn't start until I believe the 21st of this month and it is like 90 degrees outside but I don't care because in this house it's fall already so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and start showing you the things that I picked up that I went to I actually wasn't going to the store for fall decor pieces I was going for party supplies and I just happened to stumble upon really cute things and I was like pleasantly surprised and the store is Dollar Tree the first thing that I have is this little owl with his like dangly little feet I thought it was super cute my daughter actually saw this and she was like can we get this one so I was like sure and I thought it would sit really cute on um, like in front of the TV where we have that little shelf where we keep all of our movies and stuff. So I thought he was super cute and it's actually wood. It's not like foam or plastic or anything like that. So I was super shocked at like the, the quality because I wasn't expecting this from Dollar Tree. So the next thing that I got is this little like scarecrow sign that says harvest. I don't know where he's going to go, but I just thought it was really cute and I like the fall colors. That was my only, you know, iffy thing going shopping this year is that a lot of the fall decor seems to be like mint green and white. And while that's all very pretty and it actually goes well with my decor, I want to be like festive. I don't want it to blend in. So I wanted, you know, the traditional like red, orange, brown. I like those colors for fall. So yeah, he's super cute. And it's just like a little metal sign. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put him, but it was only a dollar. So I got it. <laughs> so obviously it would not be a fall decor haul without some pumpkins. So Dollar Tree had a lot of really cute pumpkins. I can't hold the other ones because you guys will find out in a second. But I just thought this one was so pretty. It's got cute little orange glitter swirls on it. And the only thing about this one is it is cracked on the side, but it was a dollar. So after this year, I can just toss it out and not feel bad about it. So once again, it's not like plastic or weird foam material. It feels like wood. I don't know if it's hollow or not, but I thought it was super cute. And the next pumpkins that I got are actually glass or ceramic or something but they are so cute and these were only a dollar so I got a pretty white one and I have this like rose gold coppery one which I'm really into copper accents lately so when I saw this I was like oh I have to have it and then I got this like deep brown bronze one and they're so cute and like I said like they're glass they're legit which I was like holy crap and they were only a dollar. So I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I just kind of wanted to like scatter them throughout the living room just to keep it really festive. So yeah, I got all of this stuff for, oh wait, no, I'm not done. So the next thing that I got from Dollar Tree were a bunch of like fall faux flowers. And it, typically I'm not a faux flower person, but I don't always get fresh flowers and I miss them when I don't have them. So I'm gonna see if I like these. Um, I got a deep red and I got these like brown ones and it almost like has like faux burlap in the petals. I thought it was really cute. And yeah, I do have a vase that I'm gonna put these in. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the bottom just to kind of like camouflage the stems, but I'll figure it out. And I just thought these were super cute and they'd be nice for the table. The next thing that I got from Dollar Tree is this cute sign. It's a pumpkin sign and it says thankful and blessed. And normally I'm not into things that have sayings on them, um, but I just thought this was really festive and pretty cute. And like I said, it's not permanent. So, um, but yeah, I thought it was really pretty. I like the font and yeah, I thought it was really cute. So I got it and it was only a dollar. Y'all, I was like freaking out when I went in there and I was like, oh, all this stuff is a dollar and it's actually cute. 
and I think this is the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree yeah and it's just this tin with a sunflower on it I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with it um, I do have a faux plant right now that's in like a glass glass vase so I think I might put that in here um, but yeah I don't know if anything maybe it can be like a jar for my kids pencils or something like that I don't know I just thought it was super cute and it was a dollar so I was like screw it let's just put it in the cart <laughs> so the next store that I went to was Big Lots and I haven't been in a Big Lots in so long I don't even remember the last time I was in a Big Lots but I saw Nature Bee's fall decor haul and she went to a Big Lots and I was like hmm there's some you know pretty cute stuff there and so I was like I'm gonna see what my Big Lots has because I didn't know if it was gonna be you know the kind of stores like Marshalls or TJ Maxx where not everything is the same so I wanted to go just to check out what they had um I feel like the decor in Big Lots is definitely for a more farmhouse style decor so if you have the farmhouse decor Big Lots is your place to go it was they were really cute things I just didn't want a lot of wood everywhere so um and that's kind of what it was so I got two pillows and I know I think I just said I don't really like typically like things with sayings on them but these hello so I thought they were really cute and they're actually super soft the backside is like um, like a suede feeling material and I thought these would go good on the couch um, because right now I've got four pillows but my gray ones are feather pillows and the feathers starting to poke out so everybody's complaining about them so I thought I could maybe just replace my gray ones with these for the time being and it's so hard to find pillows that match my couch because my couch is this weird dark green and brown color but these will go perfect and they're super soft so I thought they were really cute and they were $12 but when I went let me get these out of my way but like I was saying when I went to Big Lots they were having a sale on their decorative pillows and they were buy one get one half off so I got the two pillows for $18 which I thought was really good and last but not least I went to Bath and Body Works because you cannot have fall decor without some fall candles and Bath and Body Works candles are the best I don't care what anybody says and when I went last weekend they were having a sale and they were $12.95 and I had a $10 off 40 or 30 one of those coupons either 10 off 30 or 10 off 40 so I did get a few candles um, the only thing was that I went with Johnny and I picked out the candle that I liked he picked out one that he liked and then we picked out one that we both liked which is rare because we have totally different tastes when it comes to candles so the candle that he picked out was a watermelon lemonade so I'm trying to hurry up and burn that in our bedroom before I start burning these ones because I picked out fall scented candles because that's the spirit that I'm in so the first candle that I picked up is Marshmallow Fireside and I love the packaging this year. They always switch it up and the thing that I like about Bath and Body Works is that when you buy their candles, one scent could come in like two to three different packaging so it will fit the decor of your home or unless you don't care about that like me, like I honestly really don't care. Um, but yeah, this candle smells so good and I slept on this candle for like two straight years it doesn't even really smell like a marshmallow it kind of smells like campfire with a little bit of sweetness let me read what the notes say so this is toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber it does have a little bit of sweetness but it's not too overwhelming and it smells so good when it's burning and i freaking love this so i'm definitely gonna go back and get more because i only have one of these so far but I just love this candle and I burn candles like crazy so I know I'm gonna go through this super quick so the last thing that I have is this candle and this is the heirloom apple it smells really really good and this is the candle that John and I collectively like he loves food scented candles so I kind of gave it a little bit it does smell really good but there was another candle that I really really wanted so I'm definitely gonna go back and get it but this is a very like clean apple smell it doesn't smell artificial it does smell like a Macintosh apple which I'm pretty sure oh it's actually golden honey crisp apple blossom and fresh sugar cane it doesn't it's not overly sweet though which I like 
it just smells like nice like fresh and clean and I love the copper lid so yeah I'm definitely gonna be going back to Bath and Body Works to get a few more candles just so it can last me throughout the season um, I did only get these three one is the watermelon lemonade that's burning in my bedroom right now but I definitely wanted to pick up the autumn candle and there was a few other ones that I really, really love. I have to get something cinnamon because it is not fall without a cinnamon scented candle. Oh, that's right, I do have two other things. Hold on one sec. Okay, so the last thing that I have is technically not decor, but it's hand soap. And this is the Cozy Autumn Day. I got this yesterday at Dollar General. I got two of them because they were only a dollar a piece. And I actually needed soap in the kitchen and in the bathroom. And then I saw that they had fall scented soap. So I was like, oh, sweet. So I did pick up two of these. Um, I do love the Bath and Body Works hand soap, but they weren't on sale when I went last weekend. So I didn't get any. Um, but yeah, that is all that I have so far. I can't wait to start putting these out now that I've shown you guys and really start getting into the fall spirit. All right, that is it for this haul video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like haul videos and you want to see more. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can click the notification so you don't miss my next video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.